I'm late by 50 miles, but whatever. Here's my reaction. Uh, per CBA, Colby Alverson. Um, the, the Denver Broncos have released Russell Wilson, or are going to release Russell Wilson, so it didn't work out. I have his jersey. It was a fake Chinese jersey, so it's not really a loss. Uh, we've known that Russell Wilson and Sean Payne fucking hated each other. And it didn't work. He had a good season, let's be honest. But if they didn't start off 1-5 and, and made the playoffs, he would still be here, to be honest. He would still be here. And also, he didn't want to restructure. Was it the right thing to do with the Broncos threatening the non-injury guarantee? No. But this guy didn't want to restructure. He's just a he's just a fucking asshole at the end of the day, Russell Wilson. And, you know, did he play good last year? Yes. But he also choked at the end, and we lost. We, he, we lost to the fucking... Patriots, we lost to a lot of teams we should have won. You know, I like Russell Wilson. He did a lot. He improved himself last year. But it wasn't good enough. You know, I want to make the playoffs in Denver. And Sean Payne's like, fuck you. You're too much. Largest dead cap in NFL history, which is terrible. Uh, I'm happy that the cap went up, but it's not going to be a Ju It's not going to be a June post-release or whatever, June 1st post-release because um, they just want to move on right away. We can't have him linger on the fucking roster. Um, so that's pretty much uh, it. Um, it's time to move on from Russell Wilson. Uh, these two years were terrible. First year was that fucking god dog shit with the angle hack it. Second year, that was... Um, it was better, you know. For he started off with good numbers, but we were one fucking five, and then we started changing the system a bit to suit him. Uh, and he started playing all right, you know. Game man, he was a game manager, to be honest, which is bad. You can't spend all this money on a fucking game manager, and that was Russell Wilson. And now he's gonna be released. We can't, we won't find a trade partner, and there's gonna be a lot of teams going for Russell Wilson, which. Uh, there's gonna be teams like wanting a veteran uh, QB to be on the roster and to be their starter for like one or two years. And Russell Wilson, I think he'll go to the Steelers, but there's still a lot of teams uh, out there that will accept anyone. Um, I mean, will sign anyone. But um, yeah, Russell Wilson, I guess. Thank you for a, a, a one good, okay year. Um, but also, like, fuck you for all the drama, like, the house stuff, you know, the office and all that. He just was a drama, and this was one of the worst trades in football history, uh, done by the, the Penner, and also George Payne, which I don't know how the fuck is he on the r roster as the GM, you know, the front office botched this so bad, and the Broncos are set back a few years. And they have to fucking find a QB this year. If they don't, like, I'm going to give whoever we draft a QB a fucking three-year window. We have to sign a QB. We can't just have fucking two QBs on the roster. Say, say the one gets hurt. And we have to protect the rookie QB because, you know, he's going to be the, our first QB just drafted in the first round since Paxton Lynch, which is, oh, my God, scenario. So, yeah. It's just, it's just a mess, man. Uh, I don't know. If we may do a podcast tomorrow. Um, if everyone fuck it, everything aligns. I'm going to make it anyway. If if anyone doesn't join, fuck you guys. If you do, you're my brother. Um, so that's all I got to say. Um, Russell Wilson, I guess good luck. You know, I don't hate you as a person. I just hate, hate what you've done on the field, really, and off the field with all the antics. I really, I hate, it was the front office and ownership's fault for this dead cap bullshit. Because if we didn't extend Russell Wilson, um, then it, this would have been nothing. Like, no, no, we would just lost draft picks. We would just lost draft picks and a couple of scrub players. And that, that would have been fine. You know, that would have been fine. You know, it's not the end of the world you can recover. But this dead cap is going to take a lot of years to recover from to get this team back to like a normal salary. But, uh, whatever, man, whatever, uh, a few things happened today in the 
the world of sports. Um, I gotta talk about one other thing because of stay cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Peace. Go Broncos. Happy to make a Broncos video. This is big, big news. Um, and uh, I hope the Broncos are good. You know, hope they're competitive next year. Hopefully, we get rid of a lot of the dead weight on this team and uh, get better. And hopefully, Sean Payne can help this team, man. You know, he did last year. He did eight and nine. I know that's nothing really at, in the grand scheme of things, but for the Broncos, for how they were, like they played a lot of good close games against good teams, and they shat up against bad teams, which was stupid. But whatever. Sean Payne helped us out. If he can do it next year with a rookie QB or Jameis Winston or one of those bridge guys. It would be amazing. Um, so that's all I got to say, guys. Peace. Go Broncos. And, uh, yeah, let's ride. No more. Thank God.